So let's get going and meet this party leaders. Yeah, we're gonna have to encounter the fleet once anyway, so let's get it over with first. Um. Okay, it's the moon and not the actual planet. Yeah, infinite number of enemies, I think. Converse. What is the secret cipher? Huffy, Muffy, Guffy. We are the safe ones, the Spotty High Council. You have given us the correct cipher, and so you will not be destroyed immediately. Now, if you please, tell us how you acquired our most secret Spotty cipher, which every Spotty swears never, never to reveal, even when threatened with considerable pain. We met a Spotty on Pluto. Uh, we became good friends. And just where is this spotty friend now? Never mind. The answer is all too obvious in your tiny dry eyes. Yeah, we are we fall on board. We can he can vouch for our good intentions. If you held a weapon to Fripple's head, he would say anything you wanted him to say. In fact, if you held a vegetable to his head, he would probably say anything you wanted him to say. Yeah, okay, we come in peace and with good will. No doubt. Yeah, we offer our hand in friendship. Join us and our many allies. We are too afraid of the Urquan to consider such an alliance. They would most certainly punish us with extreme tortures. Hmm. Would you willing to... Would you be willing to share some information with us? No. Uh, what about resources? No. Okay, we're stronger than the Urquan. You're better off with us. Hello, hello! Awaken from your dreamy state, you them! Now is the time for realism, not wild fancy. We are strong enough. Look at our precursor vessel. Is it not unique? Yes, your vessel is unique, and here is the crux of the problem. A unique, meaning singular, starship is not equal to the task of destroying the entire Earth One Armada. If you had, say, 10,000 similar starships, we could take your boasts more seriously. Look, what do I have to prove of this to you? Destroy your entire softly? Well, that would probably work, but I have a better idea. A test. One of those questy kind of things. Uh. What? To prove our strength and bravery, we will perform this test without even knowing what it is. Yeah, that's retarded. Hey, why don't you do it? Two reasons. Firstly, we have an unreasoning fear that the evil ones will devour us all painfully. Secondly, in the rare cases where we have overcome our fear and ventured to Spatty World's surface, the Spatty who landed were all devoured painfully. Yeah, okay, what kind of test do you have in mind? You must wipe the evil ones from the face of Spatiwa. Yeah, tell me more about these evil ones. Let us explain the sad history of our species. Once upon a time, many thousands of years ago, we inhabited the warm, safe surface of our home planet, Spatiwa. We were happy and content. During those golden centuries, we evolved from a primitive nomadic culture into a complex agrarian society. We learned to write on clay tablets, and we were well on to being able to read those tablets when the darkness fell upon us, when the evil ones came. Creatures from the darkest pits of hell they were, they hunted our people, devoured them like tasty nodules, and we had no defense against them. Suddenly, our culture became once more nomadic. 
we play the Frosty Ocean from continent to continent, but the evil ones always followed. Spurred by our great need, we advanced from bronze to atomic technology in less than one of your centuries, but none of our innovations was a match for the evil ones' natural cunning and ferocity. Finally, with no other option available, we fled our world and took up residence here on our own moon, where we have resided most uncomfortably for the last 300 years. Yeah. That's quite amusing, actually. They're they're great at running away, absolutely fantastic, and their sheep are good at it too, agile and fast. Uh -huh. Okay, I accept. Start packing your bags, eyeball dudes. You'll be home in no time. We will await your return with great anticipation. Simultaneously, we will prepare a short, poignant eulogy to mourn your demise. Okay, let's see. Let's see the evil ones. Okay, very few minerals. No energy and a lot of biological. Okay, they're not even moving. I don't see any way you could possibly fail this. There are a lot of them though. Probably get a half load of biological data from this. They really are worthless. your foolishly courageous and noble efforts to rid the evil ones from our beloved Spatiwa. Although we lost many crew, we have eliminated this courage. This is wonderful! Too good to be true! We will immediately begin transporting Spati from this unpleasant moon down to the safe surface. We shall send in Crustlings and the infirm elderly first as a special honor. Please come back later to receive your accolades. No. Got a deal. Oh, joy! Oh, happiness! We rejoice and make merry in celebration of our imminent return to our home world. You are most heroic and helpful. Thank you, thank you, thank you! But now I must return to our festivities. Please feel free to come back any time. Okay, hey, a deal's a deal. What about our alliance? Why don't you just wait a while, until after we are resettled on our home world? We can discuss details at that time. Yeah, the slimy bastards are trying to squiggle their way out of this. Uh, yeah, how long do you expect this to take? 10-15 years tops. Am I correct in understanding that you refuse to live up to your end of the bargain? No, no, no. We are simply taking a more adult, welcome to the real world view of the situation. We cannot simply say, hurrah, and form an alliance with you this very moment. Surely you see that. Yeah, you know, those creatures aren't dead. We have them in suspended animation. How would you like us to return them to the surface. No! Uh, no, please! Hmm. Exactly what kind of relationship were you thinking of? A mutually beneficial alliance of minds and might. Huh? An egalitarian fellowship of sentient life forms. What? 
the kind where you do everything exactly as we say. Uh, okay, we are quite familiar with that arrangement. Very well, I'll bet we will regret this decision later on, but you leave me with no choice. We will comply with your needs. A spotty delegation will depart immediately for the planet Earth. Okay, that went quite well. Seem to have another ally. Yeah, although... I definitely use the word ally in the very loose sense here. We can't trust these guys at all. Definitely not in any kind of fighting. So, whatever advantage we can take from them, we'll have to do as immediately. We can't rely on them when things get tough. I'm hoping for life forms here. Green belts. Relatively safe uh, environment. And biologicals. Yes, this is what we want. Okay, quite fast moving, and there's the goddamn rats again. Away from me. Goddamn. Disgusting little rodents. Seems to take a ton. You have to be a bit more careful. Okay, they're quite valuable as far as political data is concerned. I think we'll get two full loads almost, at least, of biological data from this. It's a very good planet or moon to visit. Decent minerals and a lot of life. Definitely good to use a faster rate of fire on our landers. Taking forever for to get this, and if they would actually come after us, we would be in trouble. I don't think we'll have to come back here after this. We get, well now we'll get the final minerals, and there aren't that many. Only two left. still need more actual minerals, otherwise this trip has been very productive. Ooh, exotics. Yeah, take it. Degenerate matter. Delta Vitalis. I think we can act at least spend another 20 fuel units roaming around without worries. After that, it's gonna be tight. Take the meeting with them immediately.
Ah, new options. Hi, folks. What's new? Very little, I'm afraid. We've just been watching the stars. You know, actually, there was something that happened the last month on the 17th. We saw a new star appear between the Sursini and Chandrasekhar star clusters. We watched it and watched it for three days. We just watched it. Then it went away, vanished just like that. I hope it comes back. Okay, this is the 17th. Grant us the boon of your wisdom. Stuck as we are here out in deep space, we learn little of interest. I suggest you consult the more interesting folk at Stafila. Hmm. Please share your mineral wealth with us as allies. As you wish, our waste recycling unit is at your disposal. There you will find quantities of methane, sulfurous gas, and some interesting organic compounds. Yeah. Feel free, take all you want. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, what do you guys do for fun out here in deep space? We used to be bored, but then we bought this cool entertainment product. It simulated a grand adventure through a thousand parsecs of hostile space, where we met interesting aliens, uncovered the secrets of a long-lost superior race, and eventually, to save our world from destruction, we had to face the drag! Never mind, I can tell you aren't really interested. Yeah. Goodbye, French Spotty. Same to you. Actually, we'll go take a peek quickly. No, 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 no. Ah, okay. Ah, Hunam. I was just wondering, is Tafio still alive? Have you seen him? Is he well? He was sent to your Earth Starbase a while ago to captain an eluder vessel as part of our mutual assistance pact. Rest assured, he will be an excellent addition to your elite force. Those weeks of intense training always result in an officer of the highest caliber. If you see him, please let him know that I still consider his death valid and expect prompt payment. Thank you. Share a mineral wealth. And you wish out there. It's gonna be crap, literally. I want to see the star map. Sarsini Ginger Chandra Sekhar. There should be a Beta Gulumbine. Ah, unknown. So that star only exists on the 17th, 18th, and 19th of each month. So when we're traveling in this part of space here, we have to keep that in mind. How much fuel to reach Earth? 24. Okay, well, we're actually in very good condition as far as fuel is concerned. And use quite a bit, much more than we'll ever need. Yeah, we'll have to repeat the... Ah, Shunam! Uh, goodbye. I don't want their crap anymore. I want to actually make sure. Yeah, they're giving us common. Okay, biological data 285. 285. Do I get biological combat from here? Mineral health. I want to see if I get biological data from this. No. So we definitely don't want any of that. Ooh, 
these might be radioactive worlds. They're not. Metal world. Um, not bad. Take the gold. A bit risky, but we're not. We have a decent amount of crew left. We'll quickly take the gold and leave. And some extra. Yep. Though we don't have that much room anymore, so we might start to be a bit selective what we take on board. I don't think we will, we'll, as soon as the moment we get full cargo we'll just fly back to Earth, ignore everything else on the path. Now this isn't gonna be worth much, again coming here didn't uh, actually a drain or up on our fuel supply. Is this radioactive or is it... No, it's metal world. We'll take the radioactives and a bit of common, common minerals, then just get the hell out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this will might be the last system we actually explore. Since there's quite a lot of places here and only one storage unit empty anymore. You know, we'll do the the exploration in in order because there's so many of these and it's that it's easy to forget which you have already visited and which you haven't. So Method methodal yeah methodological methodical exploration god damn it hard to remember some words Crimson World Ooh like <sighs> It's a bit risky but we can take the losses Yeah it's a crappy life Really interested about the minerals, but we'll take some. These are actually decent. Not, not a good place as far as life is concerned. But we'll have probably around 300 units of. Biological data. That should get us four technologies. That is a respectable amount. And that's assuming we don't really get anything new from any of these places. Cast world, nothing of interest. Other crimson. Life, 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 life. We'll definitely get at least four new technologies. That's uh, that's just just fantastic. I'm hoping we'll get uh, at least a couple of lander upgrades. If we're lucky we'll get the tracking computer too. That means we can change our ship to a combat oriented. Because currently we are basically relying on the eluder alone to do our fighting for us and it's not that great of a ship. Oh almost died there. Yeah, weather is a nasty bit, bit of business. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Fuck! Fuck. 
we don't have another, we'll have to go back home immediately. Oh, that was that was terrible. Luckily, we have already taken care of our more, most pressing businesses. And... That was just a giant waste of crew, and we have to buy a, a spare lander. Preferably two. Uh, I mean, two in total. So if we, oh, if something like that happens again, we won't have to do this uh, abort the mission. Luckily, it happened at the end, so we didn't actually lose that much. Still, very unfortunate thing to happen. Basically, a couple of earthquakes directly below us. If we had a rapid fire stunner, we wouldn't be so vulnerable. Simply takes so long to even kill a single one of those things. I think that's Earth. So this would be Alpha Centauri, that large one. Yeah. And that means biological data, new technologies. Hopefully, anti something to counter the earthquakes. It still won't protect us from the weather. But the weather is a uh, it's a constant damage, but on the positive side, it is constant. So. You, you're not going to suddenly lose all of your crew. Earthquakes, on the other hand, are easy to avoid, but when they hit uh, and you're standing still, uh, it's uh, you lose a lander. What a coincidence. I was just talking about you with the Keel Verizzi captain. They express great interest in your explorations and struggles against the Urquan. But, like all of Arisi, I'm afraid they were hesitant to introduce themselves for fear of, well, frightening you. In any event, it is our pleasure to meet you once again. Now? What? Data on alien life forms. The three. Ooh, we can buy five tech. That's great. That's wonderful. Double capacity fuel tanks. Double capacity fuel tanks. Yes. We hope that these improved tanks will make more module slots available on your flagship. Yeah. Which you can fill with other more useful equipment. The technology we are now offering includes plans for improving the rate of fire on your lander's stun ray bolt beamer gun. Yes, very welcome. After some wild game, hmm? Well, the changes we made should really make a difference. Unless, of course, that wiring went in backwards, in which case you won't be able to shoot at all, or take off. For that matter. Don't worry, Captain. We stand behind our work. If something goes wrong, just bring it back to us and we'll fix it. Pronto. The technology we are now offering includes details for building modifications to your planet land. Yes. Which make them resistant to earthquakes. Okay, what happened last time can't happen anymore. With the addition of these safety belts and heavy duty shock absorbers, your lander occupants should be much safer when an untimely earthquake strikes. The job is complete. Your landers are ready. The technology we are now offering includes plans for adding auto tracking modules yes which improve the 
Yes. You are preparing for a mighty battle, eh? Well, let me give you some advice. You should consider using multiple tracking modules, since this will greatly improve your aim. However, never add more than three to your ship. Any more would be useless. The technology we are now offering includes plans for adding improvements to your planet landers, which make them resistant to inclement planet weather. Okay, now we can pretty much ignore level 3 and 4 weather too, so that will greatly increase our options. A little superconducted spray paint and presto, your lander can sustain a direct hit by a lightning bolt without risking the passengers inside. Usually, since the job is so easy that a nymph could do it, I expect all your landers will be treated in less than an hour. The technology with modifications to your planet landers, which make them resistant to... Yeah. The more. Goodbye. Yeah. Yep. Very useful technology there. I don't think we can actually afford the to make a battleship out of our flagship yet, because those the more expensive cannons will require dynamo units and a couple of tracking units at least. They're quite expensive. I think they're like something like five thousand per unit. And we should we'll need at least two, preferably three, so probably not yet. We'll see. Definitely want to move away from this cargo ship mode. Okay, Starbase Commander. Greetings, Captain. I'm ready to assist you. By the way, I thought you should know. Captain, a delegation of Spathy has just arrived here under orders from their High Council to form an alliance and assist you against the hierarchy. They have provided fabricator blueprint data for their eluder spacecraft and promise a steady supply of captains for as many ships as we build. Excellent work, Captain. Also, it would appear your diplomatic efforts have struck gold, Captain. We've been contacted by a race called the Zakfat Pik, who wish to fulfill their part of the unification, something you have arranged with them, I gather. They have sent us specifications for the Stinger-class attack vessels, as well as a large number of Zakfat Pik commanding officers. You're doing a fine job, Captain. Also, we're receiving a priority distress call from the Zakfat homeworld at Alpha Tukane. The signal was urgent but extremely weak. The only portions of the transmission that we can be sure of are help, black destroyer, planet under attack, help, worse than Zebranki, whatever that means, and finally, help. Also, in the log of your voyage from Unzervald, I read that you encountered a tumbling red probe that attacked the Tober Moon, killing Captain Burton. Over the past few months, we have monitored an increasing number of these probes entering the system, and I'm afraid their population seems to be growing geometrically. If this continues, in a year, space will be crawling with these things. I recommend you treat this as a serious problem now, before it becomes a disaster. Discover who is producing these probes and stop them from creating any more. Okay. Minerals to offload. Three. Fine job, Captain. Yeah, that's not gonna be enough. Another one of these, and then probably we'll have to visit the Zarkbot Speak space anyway. Oh God, be I careful out there, Captain. I really didn't want to go again so soon. A shipyard. The large crew losses should stop at this point. Um, I do want uh, another spathy. Yeah. Yeah. 
we will take all the fuel away. This is because we have to get rid of some of the fuel modules. We'll replace them with the high efficiency ones. Oh, that should do it. I'm thinking of adding another one though. Oh shit. Because we're going to have to explore some other place after visiting the Sark Factory. I don't want to waste all the time. We have a few locations. The Umga and the... Well, at least the Umga should be somewhere there. Also, another unknown alien race should be there, so we might as well visit them. But that means we have to carry a bit of extra fuel. Um, we can't really afford to make this a combat ship yet. Yeah, let's buy the landers now. Two landers. They're much tougher than the previous ones. And a fuel. We'll turn this ship into a combat ship after this next haul. But currently we really can't afford it. We could make a somewhat of a combat ship, but the problem here is really is a tracking system, 5,000. We we'll want at least two, so that's 10,000 already. Dynamo units, at least a couple, so probably 15,000, 20,000, and then the actual weapons, and that means two weapons. So, we're looking at pretty much 30,000 resource units to make a strong uh, combat vessel out of this. And we have, we're pretty much halfway there, so it's not, things are not bad. It just could be a bit better. Um, actually buy one storage bay. Do I want to buy it? Yeah, we might as well. It might go unused, but we're not gonna lose anything by having it. So I'll put more fuel to. We can always resell the fuel back if we don't use it, so it... we're not wasting resource units, we're just putting it into it a story. storing it in another form. So. We're a large cargo ship at the moment. I think that's about it. We'll save the game and see about seeing what the Zakpa pick wants.